Everything from visual effects, material creation, animation, we're doing this all within UEFN. And it's actually been quite a liberating workflow because we're able to do updates so rapidly. Future Trash is a multidisciplinary creative studio focused on creating immersive experiences via video games. At first we were building in uh, Unreal 5 and we were set out to build a competitive party game. We actually launched a pre-alpha on Steam. We reached a total of uh, 3,000 installs, which we were proud of, but you know, that's uh, hardly enough to build a business around. In parallel, GDC happened and Epic announced Creative 2.0, UEFN. The creative director, Scott Allman, and I spent a weekend kind of doing an impromptu game jam. We realized we could bring over all our assets from our Unreal 5 project with ease. We had <laughs> out-of-the-box great lighting seamless character animation and running and hurdling and all those mechanics with our assets was cool to see. It just felt like we had skipped six months in a traditional pipeline. We ended up creating in that 48 hour span the majority of our first game that we ended up launching a couple weeks after. Once we shipped our first experience in UEFN, we had over 200,000 unique players. We decided to take those learnings and start building more games and reaching bigger and bigger audiences. And as of recently, we've reached in total 12 million unique players. Using custom assets for us is just so important as it's an extension of our brand. The goal for FOAT is to architect a next-gen gaming IP through this UGC ecosystem in UEFN. We want players to feel like they're experiencing one dynamic, crazy universe that's a pocket of the metaverse. We think that's really important to our mission and to the FOAT brand. FOAT stands for Fully Operational Annihilation Devices. These are very lovable, yet highly explosive characters. They're a little dumb, they're incredibly happy, but they can't do much. They can run around, they can blow up. And they're all procedurally generated. We've created these within a system using Unreal 5 to kind of make each one very unique to itself. And then we are bringing those in and exporting them directly from Unreal 5 into UEFN without any sort of third party middleman. Yeah. Versus let us do all kinds of amazing things within the engine. For our tycoon, we were able to implement an entire firing range and dance party and the entire building structure. All of the back end, the way the economy is calculated, everything is verse through and through. It's really helped keep our overhead low and put more of our overhead that we have in terms of memory budgets and asset budgets into building these elaborate custom worlds. It has been honestly shocking how impressive the tools are for creating cinematics within Unreal and within UEFN specifically. Using the cinematic sequencer, you can create things in real time that before would have taken hours and hours and hours to render. We use control rig for every asset, every character, every face that we've created, and we're actually able to keyframe that all within the application itself. It is probably the most powerful tool I've ever used uh, in a creative uh, aspect. Getting into UEFN reminds me of why I got into game development in the first place. It puts all the focus on creating experiences. Mm -hmm.